guys how you doing today this is fee diamond in the rough how was your uh, day what'd you get up to um mine was uh, another great uneventful day back to work tomorrow Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah um to find out a bit more about this roster stuff that i spoke about before can't imagine going uh yeah four days four nights four off for three months would drive me nuts so might find out a bit more about that because all four teams will have had some input into it by now um so yeah what else has happened not much uh What's that fresh box that I get? I get a, uh, a fresh bo a box every uh, week with my uh, food shopping. When I do, I, instead of having to go to the shops, I have a, a delivery of like five meals that I need to cook up. Um, that Nathan has, every time when I start cooking at Winger's that there's not enough meat. This time when I started cooking, he didn't say a word. Um, he's always had something to complain about with every meal I've cooked and this one I turned around and he, I said to him how is it and he goes I'm eating this slowly so that I can enjoy it <laughs> no I'm eating it slowly because I'm enjoying it <laughs> so funny one meal that he liked so there we go he'll be cooking one of them up tomorrow night depending on how he feels what one he dishes which one he cooks uh, we'll see um to the usual took both for a walk i've got some footage <laughs> i hope you enjoy i'm about to give you an example of what it's like when bo realizes he's going for a walk this is something to be seen he knows these shoes Are you going to sit? Of course not. <laughs> this happens every time. Now, I've only got the shoes on. I haven't pulled out the doggy bags and I haven't pulled out his lead yet. Uh, don't actually need doggy bags because they are attached to the lead. Just open the garage door. And now the lead. <laughs> Normally in all this process I'm telling him to sit. Go. Oi. that's enough of Bo's uh, good old antics we're going for a walk um, somehow it doesn't matter when it is but Bo knows even before I put my shoes on when I'm going to take him for a walk he knows somehow he knows little bugger um, today well, I just did something what to do I just changed my shirt and then I changed my shirt back again but he knew he knew he was going for a walk. Um, but yeah, so I've got some footage of what he's like. I recorded it yesterday, but I thought I'd wait and put it in this one. Um, but yeah, I recorded yesterday what he was like when he thinks he's going for a walk. Yes, I did take him for a walk, but just his reaction when he gets up, gets to do or take a walk is um, pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, yes, I finally got that. I did my um, blank custom 
Uh, got that done today, worked on that. And I'll just go through some of the comments. Let's just need to boom this up so I can read it from the distance that I'm reading it from. Um, so I've got uh, Diane, what a beautiful painting, love it so much. With the special truths, do they tell you where they should go or do they just let you decide? Uh, thank you for the information, love your videos. So Diane was actually, that comment was on um, Lafice, the Cafe Gonce, uh from Die Moon Shop. And that one, all of Die Moon uh, Shop, when they give you special drills, it is all, they tell you where they roughly should go, but it's always up to your own indiscretion. And with that one, I had extra electric diamonds, so I really did encase the, um, uh, the moon to give it that extra bit of sparkle. Um, next one was, <laughs> okay, so because I, I, I released the, uh, I did the um, next, next page of the uh, lioness and cub. There's a couple of comments on that one. Um, this wow, well, this is coming. Oh, hang on, wow, well, this is coming together beautifully. Keep up the amazing work. Um, by the way, I was okay with the angle since they usually craft, craft along with you and don't always watch. Um, what can I say to that? <laughs> um, thankfully, that angle when I looked back at it, I thought I had it, and when I looked back at it, it was like, oh no, but. Um, you can't redo something like that. <laughs> Definitely not. Mine, if I had to pull all the pieces off and put them back on again, uh, it wouldn't be like I'd be, um, you know, the bl they'd be okay because it's blank in a way. But yeah. Mine, I did discover three drills missing from other sections that I'd done. Had to calculate and work out what drill weren't where. Um which was it wasn't too bad of a process once I worked out the line but yeah when I first looked at it I went oh crap I've got to put three drills down and I've got to work out where they are and so I started trying to count squares and somehow it doesn't look like the drills are missing <laughs> so I, must, I think I found the right ones for it um, because when you work with so many colors <laughs> You really it does actually it is noticeable when you put a wrong color in um, because it's such a such a blend that you know if it's gone too dark by one or too dark by, or too light by one you, know, you notice a difference because it's there's such a nuance in colors um, okay <laughs> to Becca love watching this a page a month isn't bad right yeah um, what was there? I've got about 70 pages there and I've done, uh, well, 26. Well, not 26, but 26 pages um, on the book. So, yeah, getting there slowly. Take me another couple of years to get it done, though, at that stage. And um, all is well and I'm safe, so you hopefully you are staying safe as well, Rebecca. Um... <laughs> uh, um what else um hang on oh there's some that i commented on and i haven't responded back to um sorry gotta go because i have actually scrolled through and and responded to some today so um okay Crafting with Chris Dish likes a desk. Uh, Mindy, got to finish finish the section while you were listening. That's cool. Um, love the lines. Great painting. Yeah, it's that it looks fun to do. Great video. Thanks, uh, Rika. It's very um very um challenging. Yeah, I did put on someone's um. I got asked about using a, a pattern keeper and who was it? who asked about a pattern Melissa I think she's new, new she's new to the channel um, asked about the pattern keeper 
and my my thought is with the pattern keeper it would be too much of a distraction for me so um yeah it's it's yeah definitely but because of so many colors I, I find that that would just be a distraction for me to to do that whereas you know what i'm the way i'm working um works so i haven't really looked at the pattern keeper i've seen rachel ray use hers which is pretty cool but um haven't looked at it for myself for this i've seen the pattern keeper used for cross stitch only hang on rebecca for four kids uh, i can't remember her four kids at 147 i think it is um she's using she tried two different pattern keepers so um yeah i'm, I'm not quite too sure but happy with the way i'm going and i can really see the achievements um, as i'm going as well let alone what i can see on um on the canvas i can you know like ticking off pages um there we go there we go <laughs> Brittany Miller this is the coolest thing I've ever seen how do you do this and where do you buy this stuff I want to do this now the question is Brittany um are you talking about diamond painting in whole or just how to do it with a blank canvas um I do have links to in the uh custom uh playlist for the this for the custom that i'm doing my blank custom there is a playlist for it and um has everything in there from creating the pattern to uh, receiving the canvas and actually receiving the wrong size canvas and ending up getting the right size canvas i still have hold of the wrong size canvas i didn't have to send it back um to creating using the pattern uh, using threadbare to create the pattern um so yeah there is a whole playlist on that so if you actually go to this next video with it in uh the lioness and cub number 12 there'll be a playlist in the information and um you you'll see everything there uh that might help you along otherwise darling painting there's a lot out there uh what else okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rachel Ray uh, this is so much fun to watch grow it's going to look so amazing I know I keep saying that but wow what an undertaking yeah <sighs> yeah I get there and wonder how long it's going to take me to get going I think I worked it out I've got about another 12 months <laughs> keep watching um <laughs> and then Rachel Ray, the patience you have with her husband I really truly not be able to cope yeah so yeah there's more more to do with his handiwork that's going on yeah it's not 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 good at the moment so I'll go through that um it's interesting free forming time the rough lines are coming up beautifully thanks Rivka yeah um so on the on the on the front of housework being house handymen doing stuff um so i've got wednesday thursday day shift friday saturday sunday night shift which means friday saturday and sunday i need to sleep so if you know what's coming on that one when i say i need to sleep um i actually on friday I will actually be sleeping in the guest room at the back of the house because we've got more work going on in the front of the house so um, the guy that did the ceiling fans he is actually going to come and install our down lights in the lounge room the hallway and our bedroom and uh, yeah nathan forgot i was on night shift mm. so so while they're making a lot of noise at the front of the house i'm going to be trying to sleep at the back of the house whereas at the back of the house 
there is on the other side of the fence at the back of our house is this dog that barks and barks and barks and I'm quite sure you may have heard it in the um, in some of the other videos because he doesn't stop when he starts it's about starts about three in the afternoon stops about ten in the evening um, so I'm just hoping Friday isn't one of those days the dog decides to bark like he does um, and uh, the flip side of that is I <laughs> are you got you guys anybody here anybody watching this have a set way that you sleep so for me, I have a position I get into when I'm asleep within 30 seconds. Bonus of having being a, a shift worker is that I've learnt how to sleep. Um, so I used to be an insomniac. I used to sleep two or three hours a night. That was it. I'm always tired but could never stay asleep. Uh, and I'm not allowed to take sleeping tablets because sleeping tablets actually put me into a mania gee they're fun um how do i know this because it happened a couple of times before we found out what was going on um but yeah um we so yeah i i've gone through sleep training and i've learned how to do certain steps before i go to bed i do certain things and then i well basically i'll go to sleep within a, a you know 30 seconds of getting into the right position um, in most cases I have the odd night where I can't but most times um, whereas I know where I say that I haven't been sleeping bit previously is because I've been sitting up watching YouTube videos and creating videos and doing all of that um, as now I make sure I go to bed um, but one of the things that I, what happens is I actually Bo sleeps at my feet so even when Nathan's at home uh, I'm, I'm on night shift Nathan's at home so I'm asleep during the day Bo sleeps at my feet and as soon as Bo moves from my feet it tends to wake me up so I'm going to be sleeping in the guest bedroom which means I don't let Bo up on that bed so now I'm going to have to bring so we've got I've got to bring one of the front one of the dunas off our bed into the uh, guest room to put it onto the bed so that he I'll let him sleep on there because he's not sleeping on the guest bedding at all um, well we'll see what happens I am actually I am semi concerned about it but yeah see Bo, Bo sleeps at my feet and I have that weight at my feet which makes a big difference um, I think I've had it where Bo was not at home once and I, I couldn't sleep at all because I, I tossed and turned too much to be able to register as proper sleep so you know do you guys for those of you that are able to sleep because I know there's a lot of insomniacs out there but if you're able to sleep is it because you get into a certain position uh, get a certain certain routine uh, I mean I know that for me the big one is getting into the right position at night time i have a routine um but like while i'm at work i can go lie on any of the couches that we've got around the offices and if i can get in the right position i'll go to sleep um, which some people are semi-envious that i'm able to do that but meh <laughs> i'm still able to it's good um yeah so I don't know how long I've been talking to you um, okay <laughs> sorry I've just looked at my my possible spam is uh, there's a link sexy girls here online I think I'm gonna remove that one I right, um, but yeah that's about it uh, do another another short chat tomorrow let you know how it goes at work see what happens um, oh missed one uh, the last colors um, so yeah I will when I next time I take both for a walk I'll see if I can 
get a picture of the the uh, well the cockies, the pink and grey glass. So these are we call them cockies, pink and grey glass cockatoos. Um, I think when I took Bo for a walk, I turned around and said we could hear I could hear them. I'll see if I can get some pictures of them and uh, share them with you so you can see them in their actual natural habitat, not just as a diamond painting. Because uh, they're pretty cool. Um, when you see them here, you know, they're pretty nice. Um, you know, we got, what have we got? We've also got the sulfur cross crested cockatoo, which is um, a white bird with a, a yellow yellow um, crest that comes up absolutely beautiful so they're around as well um, we're lucky with our area we've got quite a lot of wildlife and when we first moved in that you didn't notice the birds much they do now um, so the birds are starting to uh, now that the building has settled down in our area uh, the birds are coming back to the trees and the area so which is absolutely gorgeous to see and hear um yeah willy wagtails oh that's what i do i'll do some footage of some willy wagtails as tap well i love willy wagtails they are um i see them when i'm on night shift because there's willy wagtails there and i'll see if i can get some footage for you uh, and share you share with you the the willy wagtails they're actually class of bad luck in the Australian indigenous community because the way they flit around they tend to they used to entice uh, little toddlers used to follow them around and then disappear into the bush so uh, that's what I've been told anyway oh, there's another six oh, and another six oh, so guys I will leave it there um, I'll have another another chat with you tomorrow and uh, yeah hope you guys have a, a great day and um, I will talk to you next time obviously guys comments chuck your comments on whatever you're doing how do you go with your sleep do you have a sleep pattern um, you know. <laughs> yeah I can't say do you have an annoying partner because you know Yes, he annoys me, but uh, he's doing a lot of stuff around the house, which is amazing, which is brilliant. It's good. I will say that he came home from work. Here we go. I'm still going, of course. Um, he came home from work today, and I was actually out walking by. Came home, and he was actually sanding the hallway again. Because um, he had to fill it a bit more, so he had to sand it more. And he turns around and said, I've got some something. I've walked in the door of Bo and he goes, I've got something for you to vacuum up. <laughs> and I've got, no, I'm not vacuuming this mess up. I'm cooking dinner. So he got the vacuum out and vacuumed it up himself. See? Which is why I'm not upset with him for it because he got in and he did it while I wasn't around and he cleaned up after himself. When they clean up after themselves, it's all good. Let's see how I feel after Friday. <laughs> Come on guys, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, yeah. Leave me any comments, I'll see what I can read some out. Like I do, I'm enjoying reading the comments out. Um, hit the subscribe button to be uh, notified of anything else that I upload. And uh, hit the bell to be notified. So guys, thank you for watching. And uh, bye for now.